Every fight's a tough fight. This fight just has championship implications to it. You know, you said it best. Every fight's a tough fight. Again, uh, this fight does have championship implications to it, and uh, it, that, that says it all in itself. People ask me if it's going to be my toughest challenge. Absolutely. Antonio Margo is a great champion, a great warrior. You saw his heart against uh, Lenars, and I don't expect anything less of him come September 8th. But, again, I want that world title. I want that Covenant green belt. I want to make a better, family, a better life for my family. So, uh, it comes September 8th, it's going to be nothing but a fireworks. You know, there's a lot to be said about styles that make fights, but the two styles here mesh, mesh well for a great fight. Absolutely. I mean, styles do make fights, and why do you think all the boxing experts are saying that this is fight of the year candidate? I believe so. I can almost guarantee you this fight's not going to go 12 rounds, and I fully anticipate I'm becoming a new world champion. Uh, Antonio DeMarco don't take a backward step. I don't take a backward step. Uh, I believe I hold the, the punching power. Uh, if you guys were to compare us both, I believe I come out on top on that one. The only thing I think he holds uh, a little bit higher than myself is that he's been to the big show once before. Um, but that will all end after the first round. Yeah, I mean, at that point in time, once the bell rings, it doesn't matter where you're either defending your championship or you're trying to get that championship. Actually, that might give you more of an edge because you have that hunger and that lust to get it. Yeah, I mean, that, again, that's going to go out the window. People could say that that's going to be an edge, but fighting's fighting. This is what we do. Fighters fight. Um, he's not going to do anything different than I haven't seen before other than he's got a green belt around his waist coming into the ring. So I'm fully excited for this fight. Again, I mean, there's nothing bad I could say about the guy. You guys seen the press conference. He's a stand-up guy. He congratulated me on my new baby girl that's coming November 15th. It's nothing personal. It's what we do. It's what we signed up for. It's how we make our livelihood. After the fight, we'll go have a, a, a steak together. In the fight, I take him as an enemy, someone trying to take uh, food out of my mouth. I'm not going to let that happen.